All right, look, man. Well, I'm just, okay, listen, listen, all right? I'm just gonna say this once. I won't say it again. You weren't pushing enough product, so we had to kill your dad. Yeah, look, we'll, we'll kill your mom if you don't give us enough either. I'm not threatening you, I'm just giving you a suggestion here. We'll kill her if you don't... Hello, viewers, and welcome to uh, um, uh, Band Lab. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what BandLab is, uh, it's basically like FL Studio or GarageBand, you know, music making softwares. It's like those, but really easy to use. It's the same software I used to make all of my music. You know, the ones that I have posted on my channel. Please do not listen to any of them. If you've read the title of the video, you probably are aware of what we're going to be doing. We're going to be listening to music I made a while ago, over five years ago. This was before this YouTube channel was made, some of these songs and we're going to be rating them out of 10. Just, you know, so that we can see how far we've come as a composer. How far I've come as a composer, I mean. I've came pretty far, uh, from what I know. You know, I believe I've come- The first little batch we got here seems to be Undertale-themed. This one here is called Megalovania, all caps. You're blocking the song title, you fucking dumbass. My first ever song that I ever made. Let's give it a listen. I love the silence. Like, the silence really adds a lot. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Um... I think it kind of speaks for itself, you know? Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. Oh, my ears. I'm gonna listen to the whole thing. Uh... <laughs> I might have overreacted a bit. Um... I love these really high-pitched frequency notes that, like, blast in your ears. <laughs> I think I missed about half of the notes in that last sequence, but... Oh. Okay. That was, like, um... That was, uh... That was Megalovania. Not really much to say about that one. It's really loud, really high-pitched. i give that one maybe, like, a... Negative two out of ten. I'm not going to be listening to all of them because there's a crap ton of them, but uh, if you want to listen to all of them, most of them are public on my band lab profile. So you can just scroll to the very bottom and find them. This one's called Not So Fun Fun House. Your face cam is still blocking the name, you fucking idiot. Let's take a listen. Okay, we got kind of a spooky intro. Oh. Was that audio bug intentional, or was that just some just some bad thing? Just a bad thing, you know? Was that just a... Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh. 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 Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh. 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 Oh, the, the tempo changes. The sudden tempo changes are going hard. Oh, it changed. Oh. Oh. Oh, that chord. Beautiful chord. Oh, yeah. Mm. This one's... I, I can feel this one in my bones, guys. Ooh, that was actually that was actually a pretty decent chord right there. Oop, we're doing a bit of improvisation here. Oh, that one actually kind of went hard. That little bit right there. I kind of remember this. Oh. Okay, uh, that was not so fun fun house. I believe I recorded all of these on my uh, old Casio keyboard that I still have in my room right here. That one was okay. It was um, definitely better than Megalovania. Like it didn't actually hurt my ears to listen to. A lot of the chords were like bad. Like I think they call that sour chords when it's like but it has that like really weird sound where it doesn't sound like harmonious, like discordant, you know? I'd give that one a zero out of 10, better than the last one. The song is called Dating Quick. Um, I'm you know, playing it because it's private, so it's not actually public on BandLab. It's only 24 seconds long. 
I'm guessing this is an Undertale song or cover of an Undertale song. It has Sans as the album cover, so let's take a listen. Oh. Oh. I apologize for spitting on myself, guys. I recognize that melody somewhere from Undertale. I'm guessing this was not an actual song in the game. That one was all right. It was short but sweet. Um, I'd give it a, I'd give that one a zero out of 10 also. You know, no, I'm giving it a negative one out of 10. It's slightly better than Megalovania, but slightly worse than Not So Fun Funhouse. I love the titles of all of these. They also, they also have goofy names. This one's called Car Accident Cheese Accident. Let's have a gander at this one. Holy crap, this is my oldest song, or at least my oldest song. That wasn't recorded using my keyboard. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing this is the first song that I made in um, the band lab MIDI editor, which we'll, we'll, we'll get into later what that is. But this is the first one I didn't make using the Casio keyboard. Let's have a listen. Okay. I'm liking the synth. I believe this is the Retro Juno synth. That's the name of this instrument. Oh, okay, it's kind of waltzy. Okay, gotta love the spamming of that one note in the background. Oh, okay, it's getting dramatic. I remember this song. I made this like in middle school. Oh, that was a bad chord right there. Yeah, I remember that one. I vaguely remember making this in middle school and like showing it to all my friends and being like, wow, guys, look at this beat I made. I'd say that was better than Not So Fun Funhouse. Definitely better than the two Undertale ones for sure. Had some nice chords in there. Um, I could tell it wasn't like synced up, like the, the notes weren't really on beat. But if it was on beat and some of the weird chords were taking out, that would be like a decent like song. Like I wouldn't say it's good, but like not terror. It doesn't sound terrible. I give that one a one out of 10. No, two out of 10, that gets a two out of 10. The song is called They're In The Game. Hey, hey, guess what? Your face cam's still blocking the title, you stupid bitch. I commented on my own song and said, after listening to this, the second version makes me tear up. What? What the fuck? It's bro tearing up at his own songs. All right, let's, let's take a listen at They're In The Game. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm very confused. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm having a stroke right now listening to this. Okay. Okay. Why'd the beat just stop? <laughs> what is this? Oh! Oh, that beat drop. Oh, okay. Okay. We're back into it. Okay. <laughs> what is this sound? Such a goofy fucking song. What is this? <laughs> okay. Okay. That was... Okay. So I know I made a second version of this, which might be what my guy in the bottom here is talking about. That was there in the game. I'm pretty sure I made that using a built-in sampler pack uh, for BandLab, which is why it sounds like a bunch of the same sounds are playing over and over. I think I was just pressing random buttons and like every now and then there would be a part that sounds kind of good, but then other times it would just be like, bah, 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 like, <laughs> it sounds like, that's like lobotomy core music right there. Like it'll start playing like a catchy beat and then just randomly stop it at a completely inappropriate time and start playing a different melody. I think I just invented a new genre there. Significant step down from car accident, cheese accident. I'd give that one, um, I'd give that a negative one out of 10. This one's called Black Streaks. 
I'm hoping that title does not mean what I think it means. Let's take a listen. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a nice intro. Okay, now we're just pressing random notes. So we're just dragging our hands on the keyboard now. Okay. Okay, we got a beat now. Oh. 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 What is going on? What is that? What was that? I kind of fuck with this. Oh, why did why do you why did you stop? What was that? What was that? What was that bit at the end? It's it's definitely better than there in the game. I'm contemplating whether or not it's better than Car Accident, Cheese Accident, because with this song there were a lot more longer sections where with a like with a conceivable like melody, like the whole dunna, 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 dunna. Da, 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 da. Like that was an actual thing, but then there was there was like that one part in the middle where it was just pressing random notes on a keyboard. This one's kind of hard to pin down, so I'm gonna give it a zero out of ten. This one's called "Let's Call Them Creepers." I'm pretty sure I, this one came up in my most recent uh, reacting to cringe content I made as a kid video on Scratch. The description is, "Ooh, let's call them creepers, Timmy." The fuck? Who's Timmy? I made the song a while ago and forgot to post it. Now it's bass boosted. Yeah, I can fucking tell. Look at how much peaking there is. Half of the song is peaking. Is, is my head gonna explode when I press play? Oh, let's listen. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. The I was getting into that. Why'd you change up the beat? Oh yeah. Okay, this one's kind of a vibe. Okay. Okay. It's just kind of this over and over. My head hasn't exploded yet. Oh. Okay, we got a little melody in the background. Oh. Okay. Are we gonna spam random notes again, or is this gonna be a, gonna be an actual part of the song? Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. I kind of I kind of fuck with this part. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're back. It was kind of like a little like break from the chaos. Oh. Oh. We got like a. Oh, that was loud. Oh. Are we back? Are we back? Oh. Oh. Oh, that was so fire right there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing that's the end. Okay. I kind of fuck with that one. That was, a, that was a good beat. That was a good beat right there. That one is kind of hard to put down. I'd say it's the best one we listen to, but I don't know what I would rank it. Definitely the best one, though. Like, by no means is it good, but out of all these, compared to the rest, that one's pretty fire. It had, like, a nice beat, like that. Like, that whole thing. I got, like, the whole beat figured out for this one. I'd give that one a 2 out of 10. Solid 2 out of 10. 
This song caught my eye, it's called Knee Deep in Acid. Let's have a listen. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Can we figure out what beat we're gonna use? What is happening? <laughs> what? What, what is this? This is not good for my ears. I'm, I'm literally just pressing random notes on a keyboard. There is no melody here. Where is the melody? Okay. Okay, that almost sounded good for a brief moment. Is this like experimental or what? I don't get it. Is this supposed to be the main chorus? Okay. Okay. Is that it? Is that it? What, what is the point of the song? Okay, that one was a significant step down from uh, Let's Call Them Creepers, and it was the one I published immediately after. I feel like all the all the fame and popularity that Let's Call Them Creepers brought me, it, it kind of got to my head and I sort of forgot how to compose. I feel like with the majority of these, I was just kind of pressing random notes on the, on the keyboard and trying to figure out what worked, but I was recording it while I was doing that and made that the song which is not how you're supposed to make music. I just realized my, my name has been blocking the title of all of these songs. I, this is so embarrassing. About fucking time. The song is titled Mickey is Up to Something. It's only eight seconds long. Let's give it a listen. Okay, that, um, that was definitely a song. Knee Deep in Acid was so bad I forgot to even rate it. I'd give Knee Decent Deep in Acid a negative 5 out of 10. Um, that was somehow worse than Megalovania. I'm giving Mickey is up to something also a negative 5 out of 10 because that was literally just an 8 second loop of me going da 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 what, the, what even was that? Why did I make any of these? What is the point of Mickey is up to something? The song's called The Wall of Train. The name makes more sense in context. Just imagine the wall of flesh from Terraria, but it's Thomas the Train. What the hell does that mean? What? What does that have to do with the song? It's a song about the wall of flesh from Terraria. Someone said they do. I do feel wall of flesh vibes from the song. Thank you, Mythic Mimikyu at YouTube. Let's have a listen. Is this gonna be me pressing random notes on a keyboard again? Oh. Yeah, it's random notes on a keyboard. Oh. Okay. 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 Got a dubstep up in here. Oh. 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 Oh, damn. Oh, I can feel this one. Oh, I was enjoying that. Why'd you change it up? Oh, okay, we got a whole different beat now. Same song, different beat. Oh, 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 yeah. What, what is this? Is this the interlude? Is it, what is this? Oh, oh. Okay, okay, we figured it out. Okay. I kind of like that. Oh, why did you stop? Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna skip this bit of the song. Oh, okay. Hyper pop. Oh. It's like the, it can't decide what beat it wants to be. Oh, 
Ah, oh, what? Okay, that was an emotional roller coaster right there. You could even say it was an emotional train ride. That one kind of suffered from the same problem that there, uh, there in the game suffered, where it was kind of like, felt like most of it, like every now and then there would be a good beat, but it just kind of felt like he was pressing random notes at most of the time. The song is called Mickey Mouse in the house. I'm just really, it's genre is country, it says. If you are seeing this, delete your ears and replace them with new ones. I almost had to go to the hospital because I nearly die of cringe when watching this. Well, you know what we like to do here on this channel? We like to react to cringe content I made as a kid. Let's go. Hey, 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 yo. Oh God, that's me. That's me, isn't it? This one has singing. Hey, 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 yo. I sound like a fucking girl. M I C K E Y. That's my name's mouse. He in the house. What oh, the hell? Girl. The fuck? Hey, here, McDonald. <laughs> what the fuck? Goofy. <laughs> here, Minnie. <laughs> Mickey. Right here, mate. M I C K E Y. That's spell Mickey Mouse. Hot dog. Did you say fucking hot dog? Uh, I'm not. Um. I'm not 100% sure what the fuck I just heard. It sounded like it was the Mickey Mouse theme song, but over like a weird trap beat. I'm not really sure what to feel about that one. I'm gonna give it a negative four out of 10. The fandom room is a place full of mostly teens and some boomers, but not the kind you want to give the okay. Let me know if you want to use this song. Okay, the song is called Fandom Room. Uh, I guess this is the lore in the description. Comments say this song is almost one year old. It's actually almost fucking four years old on this date. Wow, I'm old. Let's t let's give it a listen. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. What? This is weirdly high quality. Did I did I fucking steal this from someone? This is weirdly high quality. I'm suspicious. This is suspiciously high quality. Space flow? What the? Yeah, I did steal this. It's just an audio file. The looper is a mobile only. Oh, I used a looper to make this. So basically, the looper is a thing on BandLab where it has a bunch of loops and it syncs it up for you automatically with a beat. So you don't end up with stuff like, you know, what I what the last couple of songs were. So it automatically mixes and syncs all of it up for you. So you don't got to do that. But that doesn't take any skill or talent to do. I'm giving that one a zero out of 10 because it sounds good, but for the wrong reasons. The song is called Blue Abyss. Uh, it has that same weird blood album cover from the other one. I have no idea what that means. For some god dang reason, it made this old song private, so I had to republish it. Song originally created on May 29th, 2020. This one's also almost four years old. What the hell? So I don't remember much about this song. I just remembered that one of my friends said that they really liked it at one point, which um, hopefully it's good. This better be the best fucking one on here. Oh. Okay. Did I steal this one also? Okay. Um. Uh. Okay, I, I don't think I stole this one. See, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? It's a bit off. Okay. It's a bit weird. I actually don't have much bad to say about this. Like, it is a bit weird, but like, I don't know, I kinda, it's like hypnotizing me. What is that? And that one sample keeps playing. I don't know what it is. Such a weird sample. Ah, ah, oh, ah. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> okay. We got like a melody going on. Oh. 
One, it's all coming back to me. It's a bit awkward at times, like it's a bit stilted, but like when it's not, it sounds good. I just realized how much it sounds like I'm tooting my own horn right now. Like these are all songs I made and I'm like, yeah, it sounds good. Kind of like, yeah. I like to think of myself as a different person four years ago than I am now. I think I've mentally built a wall between me then and being at me now, so I just think of that as a completely different person. Alright. Alright, that one was alright. Can't tell if that one was better than Let's Call Them Creepers. I think... I think it was. There was less weird, like, beat changes in that one. I'd give it a... I give it a three out of 10, three out of 10. That's the best rating we're giving on this on today's video. Unfortunately, I'm out of time, but uh, if you guys wanna see more of these videos, I'm gonna be doing this into a series. I've been meaning to make this video for a while now, but I've just never gotten around to it. But now it's here reacting to music I made as a kid. Um, I'm probably gonna do more of these cause I haven't even covered, not even like a quarter of all of this. There is a crap ton of this stuff. So if you guys wanna hear more of it, do let me know in the comments or don't, I don't care. I'm gonna make another part two cause I like making money off of these videos. Anyways, I will see you in the next video.